Hey guys, come on in. Let me give you a quick walkthrough of just some things to expect and some things that have changed just a little bit um, during this shutdown time. Obviously guys, we are gonna make sure that we have hand sanitizer in plenty of locations all throughout the gym. Um, there should be easily seen, um, as well as we would highly encourage you guys to be using these when you guys come in and, and when you guys leave the gym. Uh, one thing you're gonna notice right here, the benches are now moved out into the front lobby. So in these cubby holes are good to store, on these benches are still gonna be good to store stuff. Come on back through this way. So obviously you can continually walk through when you guys enter, you can come back through here, you can get some stuff set up on your benches if you wanna just store your bag or your shoes or anything extra. Kids room's obviously gonna be closed for now, it's not closed off or marked off, but um, obviously details were released in the email. More cubby holes obviously could be used here to store your stuff. As you guys come through this back side of the gym, it's gonna look fairly similar. Uh, you're gonna notice I've moved the bikes over a little bit more. Uh, this is really gonna be more easily manageable for the 6 a.m. boot camp plus, since they're gonna be using machines pretty regularly in their workouts, but the class workouts don't always have a machine in them. Um, and if we do have them, we will pull them back out into a safe spot. As we keep coming through, you're gonna to start to notice on the floor, we have workout zones marked. This is really just to help give you guys clarity and uh, kind of a designated space to work. Um, in these spots, you're gonna have bumper plates, clips, um, and some different, some variety of equipment depending on what the workout has planned for that day. But we do mainly keep, uh, have in mind to keep just the plates. Uh, barbells uh, are obviously gonna be something that you're gonna be able to come and go and grab when you guys get here into the workout. So come take a look at this. We've changed up the barbells a little bit. So we have uh, two racks that are set up right here. I've moved another rack over to there just to make that a little easier access to get to. And then over on this side is also another barbell rack. Um, the reason we're gonna do that, obviously we had all the racks in one spot, it brought everybody together. And so we're just gonna make sure that that helps eliminate um, a lot of congregating in one specific spot. As you guys come through, again, hand wipes are always gonna be available for us to be wiping down our gear. Whether you choose to do it before the workout or after, it's up to you personally, but we're definitely gonna designate you to have your stuff cleaned off afterwards. As I said before, guys, it's not really anything different. It's what we always have done. Hand sanitizer will also be located on those, those wipe towers. As we move forward, there will be some more spaces marked out for us. Um, Obviously, if we were doing like a really intensive barbell workout, you're welcome to move outside the spots in order to have some more free flowing space. But we've mainly made those spots just for clarity and give you guys um, the ability to have kind of a comfortable area to work inside and um, yeah, kind of your nice little workout zone. The keyboard is gonna be off limits. It's gonna be for coaches only. Um, we plan on having all the doors open, keeping all the airflow moving through good. And then over here, um, we do have some extra bumper plates stored that we can be bringing out if it's a deadlift day, if it's a big heavy back squat day. That way you're going to have extra plates to be able to load up on your bar. So if you're limited in your, in your workout zone, then you're going to be able to have more, um, more equipment to, to go and access if you need it. Um, final thing to talk about, guys, is essentially our class setup. Originally, I didn't think that we would need to do a specific sign up. Um, as of right now, we are gonna be having a 15 spot sign up um, and you will be able to access that through Wattify. I will send you more information via email on how to do that. Um, feel free to ask me questions, but essentially we will have a 15 uh, class sign up spot through Wattify. It's gonna give us an appropriate amount of gear, appropriate amount of space for the facility that we have here at 11th Element. Um, other than that guys, we're really excited to get you in here. Um, the gym has got a significant facelift. If you take a look at the wall, um, you know, we've got the whole 11th element logo down the wall. Uh, we have a new wall ball line. The bottom of that line would be nine foot. So women, if you shoot into the red, you're good. Men, if you shoot above it into the gray, uh, above the red line into the gray, you also are good. Um, guys, obviously expect some more details to continually keep rolling out as we start the week out, as we start getting people in here and we start to troubleshoot things that we're seeing um, aren't working out or things that we need to improve upon. But ultimately guys, we want you to have an amazing hour when you're in here, train hard, um, get after it, and just get back into that community sense that uh, we've all been missing for the last two and a half months. Have a great day guys.